percent, and he also um, wears a smartwatch. He's now starting the car by remote con uh, command, and uh, then he um, commands the vehicle to pull out. Running now. Uh, no, it's not doing. You have to release and press again. You want to try that? So we are in the allowed range, and. The moment we cannot start. No, that's not. No, we've got. Okay. Hey, the engine just turned on. Yes. And it's also. And now we have this. If you look at the car now, it's really moving out. It's really straight until the doors are free. And then it stops. It unfolds the mirrors. And then you can enter it conveniently and drive away. Okay, so can you park it again? Do you want it reverse or forward? What is? Uh... Uh, let's move it a little bit reverse more, and then we'll. You can also do it in the parking area. So in there, it's fine. There's fine. Okay. I, I moved out a bit. Did you guys see that? That's crazy. You know what? It it we saw it with our own eyes. And when the engineer comes back, we'll ask him, you know, how does, how do they control um, whether or not there's a disaster, okay? Um, so one of the viewers would like to know, how do you prevent it from having a disaster? Because someone said it's a disaster waiting to happen. Yes, um, the disaster should not happen with this kind of technology. You are in full control of the vehicle by having the remote control in your hand and you need to press all time long a re, um, a one button which is called dead man switch. So as soon as you release this switch, the vehicle stopped uh, with an emergency brake action. So as soon as you re release the switch, it immediately, it immediately stops. stops. We can also perform that for you. And it's also protecting you if someone is um, in front or behind the vehicle in the drive direction, the ultrasonic sensors will detect it and stop uh, also uh, itself without releasing the button. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there are two, there are two safety mechanisms. Yeah. Okay. If a child runs at the back and then blocks the view, then it stops it automatically. Okay. Okay, okay. We, we can do it again. We can now the... Are, the ve are there vehicle sensors on the side of the car? Yes, yeah, there's a 12 channel systems and four sensors are on the side of the car. Okay. And when will this be, are we expecting it to be released to the market? Right now it's just uh, research technology, um, so we'll probably make announcements later on, but right now it's just in the research phase. And this is not, this vehicle's not going into traffic, right? This is just a method for it to park, for, to allow the owner to park the vehicle, correct? Exactly, it's a first step into the autonomous driving world, where the vehicle drives without a driver on the seat and no one behind the steering wheel. You can also push the brake pedal in emergency case. So this is the first step, and you are describing already the second and third step when we do valet parking, as the vehicle grows on its own into its parking space. Okay. Okay. And can you just um, tell our viewers a little bit of what department are you guys in? And yeah, this is a team, uh, an international engineering team. Um, I'm Joseph from Germany, um, and this is Jonathan and Ahmed. They work in Palo Alto, so they do the software engineering. It's uh, really an international re research community in Ford. So someone's asking, they do not get, why would you get out of your car and park it? Oh. So actually, um, several use cases. Um, either you have been blocked by two other cars which are next to you, so you cannot open the driver door. This is um, really the, the only good method to uh, get out of this situation. And um, another use case is to uh, really um, put it in front of a garage. Uh, you can unload your vehicle and then you need, don't need to enter again. You just press the remote button and bring it into the garage. Okay. The vehicle's currently not available, um, so for the person that asked uh, what the right price is, it's not available yet. So it's right now it's, they're still in uh, Research. they're still yeah, researching. Yeah. As Aaron said, it's really in re research phase, uh, but um, you see we are doing it with a sort of production-based technologies. Okay, someone said good point on the black part, on the block part, and that because it's happened to them. Yeah. Okay. Anybody have any other questions for the engineering team? 
Someone said I can use it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will I also would like to make use of it. Uh, I'm uh, in a good position to be the research engineer and I can... <laughs> I can so another work. question is, does it only go forward or backwards? Um, yes, that's the direction which you give to the vehicle with a command button, uh, but the steering is done itself. So if you've seen there are uh, steering uh, movements on the steering wheel to center the vehicle um, in the parking position. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you, everyone. Show them that you guys um, liked what you saw by giving them a lot of hearts, guys, if you would. Touch the screen to let them know. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. <laughs>